I've been pretty inspired by The Sims recently. Now, I've never played the game, but I love the idea of NPCs or non-player characters being able to make decisions based on their needs and personalities. In need of a new game idea, I wanted to explore how algorithms like this work and implement them into a project of my own. I started by reading a really interesting article by Robert Zubeck about needs-based AI in video games. He discusses how the early Sims AI and systems like it work and how to generate an NPC's next action based on its current state and situation. Basically, each NPC has a set of needs, like hunger or thirst, that become more urgent over time. The goal is to determine how NPCs can best satisfy their needs at any given moment. Doing so requires two components, actions and advertisers. Actions are concrete tasks that an NPC performs such as getting an egg from the fridge, cooking an egg, or eating an egg. Each of these are three distinct actions. Advertisers comprise of an action sequence and a reward. For example, a fridge may advertise a 30-point boost to the NPC's hunger if they complete the action sequence of getting an egg, cooking an egg, and eating an egg. To select its next action sequence, the NPC would look for all advertisers in the area, rank each reward offered based on current needs, and select an action sequence based on the ranking. Rewards can be ranked in many ways, but my personal favorite is using attenuation functions. These functions start out very high when the input is low, and decrease in value quickly when the input increases, such as y equals 10 over x. How is this helpful with action selection? Let's take hunger for example, where a hunger value of 100 means that the NPC is completely full. A 30 point boost to hunger when the NPC's hunger value is at 10 means far more than it does when it's at 70. To properly determine the best reward, we need to account for which needs are more urgent, and attenuation functions help us do that. To score each need, we determine the difference between the attenuation value at the current need and the attenuation value at the future need. To get the score for a reward, we just add up the scores of each need. There are a number of ways to select the desired reward. You can select the reward with the highest score every time, randomly select among the rewards with the highest scores, or attach weighted probabilities for selecting each reward based on ranking. Once a desired reward is selected, each step of its corresponding action sequence is pushed to the NPC's action queue. While there are actions available, the NPC will perform the next action in line and remove it from the queue. When there are no actions left in the queue, the NPC will look for more advertisers. I love this algorithm and I wanted to give it a shot myself. So after starting a new Unity project and setting up some player movement, I got to work on implementing the AI. I started with one advertiser, a set of ingredients that advertised a boost to hunger. It worked pretty well, but there was no decision that had to be made. So I added in a cup of water that advertised a boost to thirst. Now the agent would have to make a decision between a hunger based reward or a thirst based reward. This was the basic implementation of the algorithm outlined earlier, but I wanted to spice it up a bit. In my game, I plan to have events that interrupt the normal flow of action selection and performance. To test this, I made the NPC follow the player on command. When the player frees the NPC, it just goes back to the action it left off at. I also decided at this point that I didn't like action sequences to be so rigid. I didn't want advertisers to trigger the same actions every single time. To solve this, each advertiser would only advertise one action at a time, based on the current state of the NPC and the current state of the advertiser. For example, a stovetop may only advertise a cook food task when the NPC has a raw piece of food in their inventory, and a raw piece of food would only advertise eat food once it's cooked. I tested this out by throwing a stove advertiser and a raw food advertiser in the mix, and gave the NPC a backpack so you can visualize their inventory. As expected, the agent grabs the food and brings it to the stovetop, which boosts the reward of the food and changes its state. I also made following the player the fallback task for when there are no other actions left to perform. Eventually, when the NPC is hungry enough, the food advertiser will advertise an eat food task and they will stop following the player to eat it. To spice up the algorithm even more, I wanted to add personality parameters. That way, the agent would not only make decisions based on their needs, but on their personalities and limitations. I tested this by adding an intelligence parameter. Low intelligence NPCs are more likely to eat raw food when hungry. After adding water back in the mix to make things a bit more interesting, I was really happy with the result.
Needs-based AI is a blast to implement into games and makes NPCs a lot more interesting. I'm excited to share more about this game and its AI in future devlogs, so be sure to stay tuned. Until then, stay up and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Slow it down to a medium groove.